You probably found this video because you're curious as to why the narcissist in your life never really seems to be happy for you. I mean, they say they're happy, but their reaction to your good news doesn't match up with their actions. You've definitely experienced people who are genuinely happy for you and unfortunately, this isn't it. Well, if that's you, welcome to my channel, The Narcissist Revealed, where we discuss narcissism and how it affects our relationships. Understanding and interpreting their tendencies can help you avoid the pitfalls of dealing with these types of relationships. If you enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more videos like this. Also, check out the description box for my latest recommendations and training on getting over a relationship with a narcissist. And now, let's get straight to the video. When you tell a narcissist good news, their first thought is usually, how does this news affect me? Can I benefit from this good news? Is my life going to change in some way because of this good news? Is your good news going to make you look better than me? Will I lose some of my control because of this good news? Seriously, these are some of the first questions that will pop up in their mind when you share your good news. Though narcissists will put up a good front like they are strong, confident, and carefree, Inside, they're insecure, have low self-esteem, and are jealous and envious. Because of this, they will usually respond to your good news in one of the following ways. Number one, they will not be as excited as you. One way they will respond to your good news is by not being as excited as you. Here you are, smiling from ear to ear, your heart beating fast, you can barely get the words out, can hardly contain your excitement. When you tell a narcissist your good news, instead of sharing in on this excitement, you get a flat, unenthusiastic, that's nice. This is designed to take you down a notch and dim the light on your happiness, making you feel unjustified in expressing the joy you feel. You may start to feel like your accomplishment really wasn't that big of a deal after all. Number two, they'll respond with what seems to be an unrelated comment. When you share your good news with the narcissist, you may be a little perplexed by their response because it seems to be unrelated to your news. As we know, narcissists believe the world revolves around them, so they view your good news based on their perspective. Though it may sound like a response that they just blurted out, they haven't. They actually thought long and hard about how your good news impacts them. For example, you may say, I got a new job the narcissist may respond with, well, what am I going to eat? Their main concern is not your good news, but instead, who's going to cook now that you have a new job? Number three, they'll share their own news. Another way the narcissist will respond to your good news is by overshadowing it with their own good news. They may give you a quick acknowledgement, then promptly move on to what's going on with them. Keeping with the job example, you may say, I got a new job. They may respond by saying, oh, my supervisor asked me to train a new employee at work today. What they share is usually not really news. Instead, it's more of an afterthought, but they have to say something that competes with the news you shared. Not only does it shut you down, but it immediately turns the table. So you're now congratulating them. Number four they'll downplay your good news. They may act like your good news is not good news at all. So you may say, I got a new job, and they may respond with, isn't that an entry level position? Keep searching, hopefully something better will come along. Immediately diminishing your achievement and making you feel as though not only have you not accomplished much, but you have no reason to be excited at all for such a small win. Number five, they ignore you. They may completely ignore your good news altogether. Keeping with the same example, you may say, I got a new job, to which they may respond, did you see the game last night? Did you hear me? I got the job. Okay, I heard you. Making you feel as though your achievements are not even important enough to be acknowledged. Number six, they tell you it's not going to work. Another way the narcissist may respond to your good news is with negativity. Whatever news you share, they'll view all the ways in which it's not going to work. 
projecting their fears onto you. If you assure them that you've taken every precaution and you're positive everything will work out fine, they'll start telling you all the people they know who have tried and failed, which is designed to provide you with social proof that your endeavor is not going to work. Before you know it, you'll start doubting yourself and may even begin to think maybe you shouldn't move forward with the task at hand. Number seven, they act like they're too busy to listen. Once they realize you're preparing to tell them good news, they'll act as though they're too preoccupied and don't have time to listen. They'll respond by saying, wow, interesting. Okay, Uh uh-huh, yeah, that's crazy. But they never actually make eye contact or interact with you in a way that shows they're sincerely interested or concerned with what you're saying. This will lower your enthusiasm and make you feel like you're talking to a wall. Number eight, they'll tell you you're self-absorbed. Another way the narcissist reacts to your good news is by making you feel like all you do is talk about yourself. Though you've always been there to celebrate their successes and even there to provide support during rough times, it feels like every time you have something positive to share about yourself, their feelings aren't reciprocated. Despite that, you still get to thinking, wow, do I really talk about myself all the time? Not only does this lessen your excitement in regards to your good news, but it also makes you want to keep your future wins to yourself for fear that you may be talking about yourself too much. Number nine, they'll say you had an unfair advantage. Another way the narcissist will respond to your good news is by suggesting you had an unfair advantage. What you accomplished is so unattainable to them in terms of experience, knowledge, and know-how, they'll think that there's no way you could have accomplished it without getting some unfair leverage that they themselves were not privy to. Once again, narcissists will project their insecurities onto you. They'll feel like because they can't do it, you also shouldn't be able to do it unless, of course, you cheated, were unethical, or know people in high places that pushed you along. It doesn't matter how long or hard you've worked towards this and finally accomplished your end goal, they will still make it seem as though the only reason you were able to carry it out and they weren't is because you were given the upper hand. With the narcissist, it's always a competition. This will once again diminish your good news and make you feel like maybe you're not deserving of your win. Number 10, they tell everyone you're bragging. The narcissist may act as though they're just as excited as you about your good news, which is exactly how you would respond for them. Yet that's where the similarity ends. The difference is you're genuinely happy for their success, yet for them it's just an act. They'll do a mini smear campaign telling everyone how every time they talk to you, all you do is brag. Number 11, they'll start an argument. If you share your good news with the narcissist, they may respond by starting an argument with you. The argument will likely not be related to your good news, so their underlying motive for starting the argument and their descent towards your good news flies under the radar. But this suddenly takes the attention off you and puts it on the narcissist and the argument at hand. This is designed to disrupt your energy. In their eyes, you were just too happy. They had to take you down a notch. Number 12, they'll sabotage you. And lastly, another way the narcissist may react to your good news is by trying to sabotage you in some way. Again, they may act as though they're genuinely happy for you and this lays the foundation. So when things don't go as expected, they'll be the last person you'll suspect is a culprit. This may make you feel like your plans just never seem to work out, not understanding that the narcissist is insidiously sabotaging you in the background. Now that you understand some of the ways the narcissist in your life may have responded to your good news, I'm sure you can recall situations in which this has happened to you. Pay close attention to how the people in your life react to your good news and be sure you're protecting your energy. Narcissists are individuals and their degree of narcissism will fall on a spectrum from low to high, but they all have similar patterns. 
Continuing to educate yourself about narcissism will help you move forward and will allow you to see warning signs in other relationships. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos above related to this topic. And now to the next video.